the British public were ordered to follow the rules in a deadly pandemic, while the Prime Minister defied them. They stayed away from the beaches and the streets, only to find that those setting the rules were breaking them. You must obey the rules. As the country retreated into lockdown under government orders, Boris Johnson insisted that no restrictions were broken. But more and more COVID rule breaking by government officials was leaked and splashed across the front pages. The public learning of weekly wine evenings and boozy leaving dues. One bash was on the eve of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral, with a country in national mourning and Queen Elizabeth forced to sit apart from her family. Downing Street was forced to issue a statement of deep regret to Buckingham Palace. Mr Speaker, I want to apologise. And Johnson personally apologised for attending a drinks party in the Downing Street garden. He thought it was a work event, he said, and within government rules. Is he now going to do the decent thing and resign? The explanation enraged MPs and infuriated the public. Career skirting controversy was floundering. Ridiculed by a wine bottle wielding flash mob outside Downing Street. We're, we're witnessing every day the broken spectacle of a Prime Minister mired in deceit and deception and unable to lead. But things were to get even worse for Johnson, with claims he had a surprise birthday bash complete with cake at number 10 during lockdown. And then a bombshell announcement by British police. They were launching a criminal investigation into rule breaking at number 10. Johnson was deemed to have broken the rules and fined $60. A month later, the report by top civil servant Sue Gray made its findings public. The 48-page report detailed 16 occasions that breached the law, describing a failure of leadership in Downing Street, excessive alcohol consumption in the workplace, and gatherings without clear authorization or oversight. Some behavior, she said, was difficult to justify against the backdrop of the pandemic. The question isn't whether Boris Johnson was at each and every party during a time of extraordinary pressure on those in power. It's about a tone of frivolity that his leadership set, undermining the most serious office in the country at a time of national crisis. Very good. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, London.